I ask my parents at the dinner table, I said, who is Ruby McCollum? And my parents told me that I was not to talk about that. This is on a Sunday morning. I never will forget it. It's a quiet morning. White congregants are gathered in the First Methodist Church in downtown Live Oak. A doctor enters his office, Clifford Leroy Adams. Halfway across town, we have an African-American woman get into a car with two of her children, start driving over to Dr. Adams' office. Driving a blue Chrysler that woman was Ruby McCollum. Everyone would have known who she is. She is the wealthiest African-American woman in Live Oak. She kept going back and forth looking to see if there were people in the waiting room. Then she had a concealed weapon in her pocketbook. She finally goes into the doctor's office. What happened next shook Swanee County and Live Oak for years to come. Black women did not shoot white men. Why would she do something like that? Something must have happened that was overwhelming for her to decide and act that way. It was a shock to the community. And, and, and my mother was afraid that the KKK was going to turn this town upside and down. When Ruby McCollum murdered Dr. Adams in 1952, it opened up a sinkhole into what lies beneath the quaint, nice facade of Swanee County. We had to face our demons.